For Amy Vasquez, this simple walk feels like a miracle. Yeah, Even so that little fill in the, in the before would have been getting me to the point where I couldn't really breathe. For years, she lived an active life. I did dancing, I did Pilates, I did boxing, um, yoga, and did a lot of hiking. But it all changed in 2016 when Amy couldn't catch her breath even after the most basic exercise. The worst was I couldn't walk around my block. I have a hill on our cul-de-sac. I usually walk my dog several times a day and I wasn't able to get up to the top of the hill. All right, just a couple deep breaths. After years of doctor's appointments and tests, Amy was diagnosed with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HFPEF. How scary was that? It was very scary because if you Google, it says that once you've had an event, hospitalized or something like that, that it's about a five-year lifespan. According to the National Institutes of Health, HFPEF affects about three million people in the United States. That's nearly half of everyone diagnosed with heart failure. So this is sort of the heart as a whole. Dr. Rajiv Mohan from Scripps Health explains the left side of the heart can't move blood out, so it sends it back to the lungs, creating pressure and shortness of breath. There aren't many treatments yet. The interatrial shunt device is designed to reduce the pressure in the heart. Now a company called Corvia is testing this small device, which can be implanted in the heart. Blood now flows from the high pressure left side to the lower pressure right side. Scripps La Jolla is one of just 65 hospitals in the world taking part in the study. Dr. Mohan thinks it can be a game changer. Something like this, a shunt, um, uh, is, is really groundbreaking if we're able to show that it does significantly improve um, symptoms and heart failure events down the line. Vasquez got the device in an earlier clinical trial and saw the difference on her first walk with her dogs. How quickly did you know that something? So almost immediately. It was like, stop, you know, probably getting to the top of Mount Everest or something like that. For me, it was. I got to the top and I just was just the joy overjoyed. Now she's active again, going on cruises, hikes, kayaking, and looking forward to a long life with her growing family. I have a really bright future with my kids. I plan to live a very long time, and I want to be active through that time.